Hello and welcome back to Lemmings to the Tribes. Today we're going to be dealing with a couple of really mean missions. I will show you. Let's pick and play. And the first one of those is uh, spiraling or spiraling in DNA. And here we're gonna use my favorite Super Lamb. Oh yeah, how much I love to control it. It's insane. Otherwise it's um Level is pretty pretty small by Lemmy's 2 standards. Only a couple of screens, maybe uh, two screens all in all. Um, and something to note that this candy bar or staff or whatever, I think it's a, some kind of Egyptian staff, won't block the lemmings, it's part of the background. So they will fall down. We shall begin like this. And that was um, the wrong way. I was not um, being accurate enough with the timing. We start to build a stack immediately where we begin, and all the lambs will go to the right side, and that makes it so um, they will not die. And yeah, I think that's failure right there. This is a really unforgiving uh, level. As is the next one, um, which you will see, and I will be failing many, many times. I can already say that because uh, even though I know exactly what to do, it has its own bullcrap like this. The super lamb. It is so awesome. It has to be done this way. Okay, maybe they won't pass anymore. Oh, why did it fly like that? I tell you, the Super Lamb is one of the most broken things in this game. I can't understand how to use him correctly. Okay, now we just flew like that. Whoa. We'll see how this goes. How many tries do I take to nail this down? pain is that uh, I know exactly how this is to be done. Alright, we got him there. Some nice flying. Next we're gonna do some platforming. Uh, let's begin from an early point because we want to be safe. If you go down here there's some kind of pressure cylinder or something that uh, pretty much uh, squeezes you out and they die. Then we bash through to the to the pyramid, and um, next we use the twister. Oh, and we failed because the twister ended, and you ha they give you only one twister, so we have to do it again. This is what I'm talking about. Simple in concept, but horrible to execute. That's pretty much these levels in a nutshell. But this time we were a bit more lucky with the um, with the super lamb. Now, well, we don't need to go around and do that now. Let's try the twister. Oh, and we failed. We must not hit the guy with the fan. I think that's it. That's the th thing we do. I do wrong. I mean. Oh, and I flew him into the ceiling again. I tell you, this is one of those... One of those horrible levels. Okay. At least I get him... Correctly quite a few times. Out of ten. Okay, let's get back to the platform. Let's try to nail this one. Like this. And back to the twister. Oh yeah, we made it! And here we are! Okay, are they making it? Yes, they are! And now we wish that we would have... Uh... Oh yeah, but it... we got it. We nailed the bash right there. A few of them are going back, but it doesn't matter. We will get everyone in. After about 
what, 10 failures right there? Yeah, you get the idea how this, this is to be done. You get, this is really unforgiving. You get no extra task, as you see here down. <laughs> tasks bar. We're out of everything. We only have those tasks. But they are enough. To get us through. Here they go. The next one is, uh, in a way, even meaner. Even worse. Horrible. A few words you could use to describe it. Uh, echo of light. As we see here on the left side, we have we don't have many tasks for this um, this level at all, either. We are here up in the upper left, and we have to go past these intricate intricate things here, intricate groundwork to the pyramid in the middle, or in the on the right end. As you see here, they are actually one, two and three gaps. We can't get through this because it's steel. We have to bury here. And we have only two glue pourers. We have no platformers. This is like... Oh my. It is so mean. It's actually pretty simple all in all. But um, once again, we have to nail a few things. So let's begin like this. Get someone through there. The first thing is to get these guys, who are automatically bunched, not to die. They run just on the edge of the glue, and they get to the other side. The next thing we have to do is um, use a rock climber and give him the slider ability, which uh, makes that so that he doesn't die horribly when falling this height. We have to do this separately. Like this, and next another another basher, and this is the hard part of the level. We make him a runner, and make it so that he jumps right at the edge. Then we make him bash again, and next we give him another jumper, and let him go to the pyramid. The next part is this. And this is where we could be losing a few guys. And uh, I really don't want to do that. So we try to make all the edge we can. And now we pour the glue. This is the critical thing. Critical thing. And we failed! Because there was something here. He didn't bash up a perfect um, hole in the wall. Um, and what that did was well, some glue was uh, in glue remained pretty much and it didn't go all the way through because we have only two glue pourers that is what makes this so sick it's a really sadistic, uh, sadistic level they don't give you any leeway much like uh, much like oh no more lemmings Pretty much reminds me quite a lot about that game. But we're gonna try again. And we have to do all these things again. All the jumping. That's a huge uh, place where errors happen. Trying to get him to jump. We have to be pausing all the time. Okay, like that. Now we have to make him a runner. Okay, he made it. Now for that. We need to make a perfect bash. Come on, dude. That should be a perfect bash. It does look like. And he jumped to safety. And now, let's get back here. And back to the horrors. Let's see if we have any jumpers available. Um, I have to do it here. Let's see if it works. It's very crucial right now. Okay, the glue is going down. It's going down. It's blocking the hole. Oh yeah, we made it. So, there we have it. A very mean two levels uh, of the Egyptian tribe. And we are just in the middle of this tribe, so I just shudder at what will be coming up next. 
Of course, we all make it. This time we're, we're also more stretch on uh, skip on time. You know, we have one minute remaining. Earlier we had many minutes to spare. This time under one minute. But there they go, and home safe home. Let's actually look what the next level looks like. Next level. Rupert's Questling. Alright, so it looks to be a very long level. With a lot of tasks. So there will be a lot of things to do right there. But that's something we're going to do and be tackling with next time. See you guys.